we're at New Carlisle, Andy Barnhart Field. This is a very popular EAA location. In fact, today is a fly-in of a bunch of Wacos, and you can see this is where we're working on something. We'll talk about that later. But what we have here is we've got Chip Ir Irwin and Don Kessler, Dr. Don Kessler. And what you see here is the basic Wi-Fi terminal for Starlink. And uh, I don't know what are the dimensions on that. It looks like it's about two foot by one foot. And over here, we have something entirely new. In fact, you probably haven't even seen this. This is called the Starlink Mini. Uh, go ahead and open that up. <clears throat> well, I did already. I cheated, so I all had right. to see well, it. All right, well, what, what? No, that's what, the instructions here. That's all that's of the it. instructions. But what's really important about this thing is, is that it does not require a router. So this, yellow, this cable that you see here going into our hangar provides power and it goes to a router. That's everything right there. It does have a cable, but the cable doesn't do anything but provide power. And the power it needs is 30 volts at a waterproof connector 60 too. watts. Yeah, and I think that's a 50 foot cable so that you can put this thing up on a tree or roof of your RV or, or whatever. So you see the difference here, and that thing weighs a ton. This thing here is fairly light, but it has a built-in router. Okay, and it, if you want to, you can uh, hook it up to a, something like about a two-inch pole or whatever. So that's replaceable. That snaps out, this snaps in. Yeah, and that makes it into something you can put on a on a tree. Now, what's really important about this thing is what Don is going to show us and tell us about. We can pull this out. Yeah, they have a waterproof it's plug kept off. cap and what's in that hole. So when you pull this cap out, you see there's an RJ45 standard ethernet connector there. Yep. So I think this is a, a modem and uh, perhaps a router, but you can feed your router from that RJ45. Yeah. And we've got high speed data. I wonder if even. I wonder if we can uh, inject power over that port because this one does. So this the, the uh, original. Uh, it, well, this isn't the original one. I do have an original one, which is the reason I got a hold of one of these. Is they offered us guys with the round antenna, the Starlink Mini first. It arrived this morning. It's probably the first one you'll ever see. First one. Oh wait a minute! Oh, we just missed it. Another Waco tail dragger. We could break with normal uh, testosterone-based uh, life units and actually read the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, find out whether the thing actually well, does. They're on the box. Oh, there that's it. paper underneath there, but that's this, just the seat. This is the uh, IKEA version of. Uh, well, how how, how much do you estimate board. that thing weighs? Oh, less than a pound? No, it's maybe two, three pounds. Okay. Well, not, some not assembly very, means you pop that off heavy. and put this in and plug it in. But this will be plug in the other end. Very nice for the next application you're going to. Yeah, oh, let's, okay. let's see what we're going to do here. Chip, show us what we're going to do here. Here, here we have a, a Merlin. We have a few here in our uh, Dayton Research Center. And this antenna is going to be mounted probably ahead, but right now, because I can't reach it, behind that antenna or somewhere in the center like that. And now we have a, a mobile hotspot. I mean, a truly mobile hotspot. At about 100 megabits. Okay, and now instead of having a radome with a directional antenna, high gain antenna that has to be pointed at a satellite, uh, this antenna is a phased array type of antenna for those of you who are real geeky. And it has a field of view of approximately, I think, what was it, 140 120 degrees? degrees? 120 degrees, something like that. Pretty big which doesn't cover horizon to horizon, which would be 180 degrees, but it is a big, big field of view. Well, we can't put it underneath this uh, acrylic plate here, so get it out completely. I don't know if that would... It would work, but we would... It, we would slow we would, down a little. Well, the aluminum would be a problem. No, well, we have the uh, oh, we we have have to, a, yeah. acrylic glass here that was put in for the rocket parachute. That's true, yeah. And then, uh, and that's going to be part of our program with the hybrid. So let's take a look at the first, world's first hybrid Merlin. 
we call it the high bird. So this will be uh, functional at Oshkosh. Yeah. So we're gonna have our own. Um, we're gonna have our own aircraft powered as our Wi-Fi uh, rotor. Yeah. So we'll we'll put this on the aircraft and I'll fare it in. But this is the uh, the high bird, and it's got its own trailer, and it'll go right up there. And we'll fare it in. Yeah, it's gonna be way behind, or even like I said before, there would be a parachute on here. Yeah. But it could go on roughly where the skylight is. Yeah. So, and this this airplane is brand new. We have the uh, what look like bomb bay doors, which are the uh, battery doors. Uh, the engine is a 800 cc V twin. There's one there. That's not it, but it has an electric motor plus a uh, internal combustion your, uh, engine. EFAS panel going in and you can see the components are already remotely mounted. All of so the- So we're just wiring this up to get it ready for the show. Yeah, and uh, then you can also see back there in the back, that's a, that bracket you see is for the, uh, the rescue parachute. Yeah. So this thing has a rescue parachute. It has redundant propeller power. Uh, so it has a regular engine, plus it has an electric motor. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put Wi-Fi so that we're able to communicate with it. So if we wanna run this thing autonomously or if you wanna be able to actually operate with basically high bandwidth uh, Wi-Fi, even higher bandwidth than you would get on say an airliner. Uh, in fact, one month of service is about like uh, a trip in an airliner for just one trip. So uh, pretty excited now that we're gonna incorporate uh, the uh, SpaceX Starlink system into all of our Merlins. Right, because I wanna watch Netflix when I'm cruising around in my Merlin. Absolutely. All right, thanks a lot, Dr. Kessler and Chip. Signing off from Thank you, sir. New Carlisle. Carlisle.